Gotham Zabaya. Um, he helps leaders, managers, and professionals to take back control of their well-being and performance so that the, they can lead from presence in the workplace. Baseball is actually an endurance sport. 162 games in the season. And if you get to the playoffs, what's your reward? Another 40 games. <laughs> Feels a little bit like us, like corporate athletes, like business athletes. But amidst all that noise, all that distraction, the game on the line, they have to focus. They have to be present. We saw in the peak performance curve, stress can be our best friend, but stress can also put us in a difficult spot. It can put us in this vicious cycle where we're reacting to triggers in our life. Prefrontal cortex. What that means is the resources, the neural resources to our thinking and rational brain gets diminished. So when we are experiencing stress, we immediately have a reduction in our logical thinking capacity. There is a space, there is a gap. And if we can access that space, if we can access that moment, we can find the capacity to choose how we want to respond, how we want to act, how we want to behave. Mindfulness is about finding that space in your life. I found myself in a situation where I was letting my emotions drive a lot of my decisions and my reactions to problems or made those problems worse than they actually were. Sessions that we've done quite frequently with our global leadership team, which includes about 20 people, it was obvious to everyone involved that engaged that they themselves were becoming better leaders. All these skills are important for us to have influence and impact and create change on our team and our organization. So really, this ultimately is about unlocking leadership skills. Leadership skills with your managers, leadership skills with your senior executives.